If fertilization is successful, cell division and growth of the embryo begins. As the embryo develops into a fetus, gravity becomes increasingly critical. For a human fetus, a full-term pregnancy is about 36 weeks. And up to about the 26th week, the fetus is neutrally buoyant. After that, the fetus becomes more dense. And so the fetus tends to sink in the uterus in the amniotic fluid. So from that point forward, there does seem to be a lot of uh, effects of gravity in the developing organ systems of the fetus. If you're not exposed to gravity during that critical phase, the development is uh, basically very abnormal. An animal study conducted in the 1980s turned up troubling results affecting the embryo's skeletal structure and heart. There have been some studies done on the Biocosmos satellites in which a uh, developing rat embryo, because they're in a weightless environment, there's anywhere from a 13 to a 17 percent decrease in bone mineralization of, of all the fetal bones. We know that the extensors along the spine are smaller mass. We know that the left ventricle of the heart is actually smaller. And it makes sense when you consider that the, that ventricle does not have to pump against gravity to move blood. It's unknown how the same lack of gravity might impact a human fetus, but it's likely to have similar effects. If scientists can find a way to bring a healthy human baby to term in space, then a whole new kind of delivery room will be required.